been so many great undisputed featherweight champions in UFC history. Max Holloway, Jose Aldo, Alexander Volkanovsky, and this is the latest entrant, another guy who people believe could be just as special. John, think about the names that you just listed. These are three of the greatest names the sport has ever seen. And this man is starting to build a resume where he stands alongside some of the greatest featherweight champions of all time. He is just a beast of an athlete. He is a beast of a champion. And he believes that tonight, it will just be another notch on the belt as he keeps his championship belt. We asked about the fighter meeting, is this title challenger the toughest fight of your career? He smiled and said no comment. Jose Aldo Jr. We are set for a main event of the evening. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Max Plus Holloway. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. So Herb Dean, third man Ready, in there for this one. Ready. All right, here we go. Round one of the third meeting between Jose Aldo and Max Holloway. Max plus Holloway won the first two meetings in 2017. But that second meeting, Aldo really believed was there for the taking. Your thoughts on how things transpired today? He feels like he made some mistakes in the lead up, fought emotional, and he wants to change that tonight. And if he changes the emotion, he will change the result of the fight between him and Max. Trying to hammer that lead leg. submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Side control, side control. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Holloway's back in side control here. And what he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Making all these shots count. Right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. 
So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grapple exchange. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. That leg was nasty. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I... Oh, my God. And this is why you pay to be in the building. <laughs> so we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes in time. Now landed for the King of Rio, Jose L. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Relax, Be relax. patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch. Oh, that's a total top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top. With that beautiful overhand. Great punch. That was lightning fast, that right hand. I mean, cheese Louise. Nice inside leg kicks there by Alden. All right, so now we start to see... Oh! So 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, he got to the spot. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it shows that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Now we get to our second round, DC. Ready. Jose Aldo Ready. and Max Bless Tolliver. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking dollars They laid it all over the line. They dropped the corner in the middle of the octagon, and they said, let's go. What a round. Oh, oh he lands another strike to the body. Really? the blows guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.
Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and steal! Jose Alba Jr. All right, so what?